Well, it's day four of my comfort zone challenge, and I wanted to talk to you about urban connection and something that happened on Friday. We've been taking in applications for our fall AmeriCorps and interns. We've been getting interns from um, UTSA, Our Lady of the Lake. Um, we've been having people call us from the different colleges in the city um, to come help us with our youth, um, our youth programming at the Frank Garrett Center. Well, on average, we have about 135 kids um, with about 70 coming every day. We have partnerships with San Antonio Youth Literacy, with the San Antonio Food Bank. We have um, partnerships with Big Brothers Big Sisters, Role Models, Rotango, um, and there's many other people. Holy Cross High School, come. they have volunteers that come in from their high school to help um, tutor kids um, with their homework. And so um, it was really disappointing. And I'll say it was like a shot to the heart when I got this email from one of our potential applicants on Friday. And she says, okay, I'm not interested in this position. Let someone know ahead of time they'll be entering into the projects. Okay, thanks. That really was disappointing because we serve an under-resourced community. We have gangs, we have drugs, we have prostitution, we have fights, we have everything pretty much every other neighborhood has. Ours is just more in your face. And you don't want to come into the projects, but what makes you think that the people that live in the projects want to stay there? They want everything out, they want things just like everybody else in the world. They want to have good jobs, they want their kids to do well in school, they don't want crime and gangs and drugs in their neighborhood, but they don't know what to do about it. And that's why we're there. We're there in the community to help assist them. And when you join up with us and when you come with us, you're there to help us live out our mission of sharing the love of God, strengthening relationships, engaging individuals and families, and restoring genuine community, showing the people there how to do community, how to, to work together to clean up their neighborhood. And we've been successful because in the last year, we've been told, um, and we were um, in July by the chief of police, Chief um, William McManus, that crime has gone down in the West End because of our efforts there. So please, statements like this, statements like this really, really, really hurt my feelings. My feelings were hurt. It was like a shot to my heart. And I hope that you don't feel like you can't come to the projects and come to Urban Connection for those same reasons, because you're afraid. Don't be afraid. Love is there. Love is always there. And the people know it. And all they want is a friend. And so come out and check us out. And I promise once you come, you won't want to leave.